Welcome back to Black Overland. Uh, last video I did, I did a review on the Power Plus throttle controller. Um, but because we were during lockdown, I wasn't quite able to show you guys the benefits of the controller taking it off road. So today we've come out to Hennips, just outside Johannesburg. It's pretty cold and miserable. But uh, we're going to take the um, nice little loop. It's not a particularly challenging 4x4 track, but it's going to give us a nice opportunity to test the throttle controller different modes and how it improves the rock crawling performance of this FJ Cruiser. Okay. Nice and slowly. Creeping along probably at about two kilometers an hour. Now the A-track and the front wheels is going to get activated in a few seconds when it starts losing traction and you'll hear like a weird braking noise. That. That's basically just stopping traction either wheel. Nothing uh, sounds worse than it is, but it basically allows you to keep good traction going up the climb. Nice and controlled. Nice slow pace. I don't have any wheel spin. Now normally, this pace would be a little bit, um, bit faster because it's an automatic box so I can't control the speed and low range as well as I could with the manual box and the petrol engine has got a lot of uh, kilowatts low down so it generally changes to lunge for a little bit but this is nice and easy yeah impressed with the I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with the way that's it's monitoring the throttle response got a bit of a steep drop here so I've just got an L1 to use the gearing to pull down slowly, but I still do need to break a little bit. But decent traction all the way down. Excuse me, it's got the brakes. So this here at Hennips, this section is pretty much the most challenging. It is a series of steps. Here's the first one, but that one is actually quite easy. Um, this being the biggest step here. And every time we come here, it changes. It gets dug out by all the cars. So someone's packed a few rocks here. So, a little bit of our work is already done for us. So that's that step. It's quite intimidating from this angle. And here's the approach. Just need to make sure you can use the bank on the left hand side here to avoid these rocks in your doors. And it's got like a shelf here. When this is wet, you can slide off and go into that wall. So it's nice that it's quite dry. We have had a bit of rain, but nothing serious. So if you come around here, keep to the right, up this berm. First shelf. I think today I'll probably try and keep left left wheel up this bank right wheel up that still think that they've packed and then sharp right to avoid the tree and then up those steps there and i'm going to use low range i'll probably just keep it in second
Yep. The back's fine. Yeah, turn that way and then I give um, no more yeah. And a bit of power now. So we just took that ledge section in Eco 6, which I find is the most suitable um, setting for that type of terrain. Um, Eco 6 just really takes that sensitivity off the throttle. So as before when I've done that, uh, those three steps, um, the push the accelerator and it, uh, you can't really control the pace, it's going a little bit too quick. Um, but with that Eco setting, um, just gave me much more flexibility and I was able to hit those obstacles at the perfect speed But when I needed to get over that bigger step I need a little bit more grunt put my foot down and the power was there to hop over it So I think probably anything from eco 49 uh, really really good settings for rock rolling This section is the deepest donga and if you get it from the right angle you can get quite a nice amount of lift but I think I've just come in from the wrong side and it's a little bit of a softer approach. Dude, you're all fooling around. We have to go the other way. One wheel up, that's it. Should we try it reverse direction? from the other side is actually even more fun but again I think I took the wrong angle and I wasn't able to get as much lift as I wanted Now trying to get lift is obviously not the most responsible way to 4x4, but it is a lot of fun.
for some reason my GoPro didn't record while I was driving. So I'll just talk you through what was going on here. Hill 49 is quite an intimidating climb. You can barely see the hill over the bonnet. It's very steep. I think it is 49 degrees, that's why it's called 49. Um, and here I've just got a low range 2 and I've selected it to Eco 7 on the Power Plus Throttle Controller. And it allows me to just creep up the hill nice and slowly, feathering the throttle pedal and just maintaining momentum and traction all the way up. And the final obstacle here at Hennips is the crux, which is just a little sharp, steep climb. Um, there's two routes, one's a chicken run, which would be to the left of, the, of my car right now, and the main obstacle is what I'm just approaching now. And there's just a little ledge that you need to watch out for, which unfortunately I managed to just get a little bit hooked up on. Nothing serious though, just backed off, took a different line straight over the top, no problem at all. So welcome back to my makeshift studio. This is very much a work in progress. Next video you guys will see a little bit more done, a little bit more I've been pretty much renovating the entire garage and workshop space um, and I should have that finished in the next few weeks. Getting back to the Power Plus unit and the throttle controller that I have been testing on my vehicle. I've now had it for about four weeks. I've been using it on the road uh, a lot. Um, its benefits are great. Great for acceleration, changes the whole feeling of the vehicle. Um, and on the road I'm very happy. And on Tuesday then I managed to take it to Hennips and do a lap there in the eco mode and having it in that, that uh, more desensitized throttle setting really has great benefits for off-roading and rock crawling. So I'd highly recommend the unit. Um, I'd like to thank Power Plus Africa for sending it to me. Uh, head on over to their website, I'll drop a link below for you guys to check it out. And if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button. If you disliked it, please hit the dislike button twice. Uh, also consider subscribing to my channel, I'd appreciate the support. Um, and if you have any comments or questions, drop them below and I'll get back to you guys very soon. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time on Black Overland. Cheers.